Hey guys, today I wanted to make a more positive video and I'm not sure when I'm going to upload a video so I left my laptop charger at work and my laptop is kind of dead so I'm uploading via my iPad which is an interesting experience um, but or and then I have another laptop but it's not like that great so yeah anyway I will be picking a winner for the fat pack the Patreon Fat Pack contest very soon. Um, I already kind of will pick one, a winner, but I need a computer to do so. But I wanted to talk today about uh, a very interesting issue. What does magic mean to me? Uh, magic the Gathering is a very big part of my life. I think most people who are watching this video can say that. And I started off as this dude with about X amount of force of whales, X amount of wastelands, X amount of dual lands, and you can go see my old binders if you want to see exactly how much money I spent on Magic the Gathering, what type of collection I have. And I used to make videos where it was, you know, I think it was offensive, uh, to be honest, uh, where I would show off these cards and I would say, oh, we should all speculate on force of whale, because apparently we can all afford it. But as time went on, I really enjoyed this channel. So I don't know if all of you knew, noticed, but I had a second channel and the second channel, it didn't go that well. Um, there's a whole bunch of other YouTubers who were talking very bad about me at the time and they maybe still do. But at the end of the day, I decided to make this channel, this new channel and evolve it for newer players. And I think that was very important to me um, was to change the you know instead of saying oh mtg finances for people who have extra cash around i want it to bring it to people who are interested in it but they only have like you know twenty dollars to invest uh so they put it in hang about back walker with that price drop or they should have put Shorin lord <laughs> i keep calling Shorin lord of innistrad but Shorin so solemn walker the no, solemn visitor wow been a long day guys and then speculations that most people can afford and can you know get a place out of or maybe they're not even speculations at that point you're just getting a place out of a card that you might use in the future or trade to get other cards you can use in the future um, along those lines uh, we've been more casual I've actually played more casually than before and all of that other good stuff so I don't know, it really is about helping newer players and helping players who cannot afford the decks they want to play with. And even like in that comment, I read some of the comments about when I ranted against the full art foil expedition lands and a lot of times, um, I guess the point is, okay, you can buy some Zendikar fetch lands. You can buy the Misty Rainforest or the Tarn. How much are they again? Sixty, eighty dollars. Is that really helpful uh, to make that comment saying, "Oh, you don't need to buy this one for three hundred. You can buy one for eighty, or at sixty dollars, or whatever they are pre-spike." And if you don't think they're going to spike again if there's no reprint, they could easily hit over a hundred bucks again, uh, assuming there's no reprint next year or there's no planned reprint um, available once Modern Season rolls over again and people want to play Splinter Twin. Tarn could easily go over 100 and I think that's a lot of times like when another channel would speak out against it like it might be a smaller channel I do watch those videos and it is interesting to me and uh, they will the other comments I used to get is hey you're poor you don't own a card why are you speaking about this this is only for expensive players or this is only for players who have lots of money so don't care you just shouldn't care about opening this card um I can get these cards and that's not so when I'm making a statement about oh you know I want reprints I want this to be reprinted I own those cards that I want to be reprinted um, and I think it's very clear from the videos I do and it's not like I'm trying to lead you on or saying like you know I think it's we've been making videos for almost two years and I think that my viewer base would probably know that it is likely I own a playset of every dual land but do I want the dual lands to be reprinted? Yes. Did I want the fetch lands to be reprinted? The uh, original onslaught ones, which I had play sets of, and I had foil ones and EDAs. Absolutely yes. Am I okay if abrupt decay gets reprinted? Yes. I have a ton of abrupt decays. Reprint them, and that's how I felt like I could um, 
give a voice to some, you know, because I don't think I receive the same criticism that other people might have when they say, oh, you know, these lands are a bad idea. These are too expensive. We need to make them cheaper. We need to reprint this. We need to reprint that. A lot of times when people are saying that, the um, skeptics, if you will, the trolls will say, oh, you can't, you know, not everyone should be able to afford magic. Just because you can't afford magic doesn't mean like, we gotta make cards cheap. We gotta think about the collectors, the collectors. Well, I'm a collector and I'm saying reprint them all. Just reprint them all. Reprint the Zendikar cards. I have the Zendikar fetch lands. Like I have play sets of them. I don't need more of them. But would it be nice to play against someone with them? Yes. Would it be nice to play against someone who can build, build, make any deck they want? Yes. And I lend out my cards all the time because I realize, especially if you're local, I've seen you, let's say for the last six months, I know who you are, I have your phone number. Yeah, if you need a playset of uh, Tarns, I'm not using them, and, or you need a whole Splinter Twin deck. Hey, yeah, just play with Splinter Twin deck, uh, make sure that like, you know, you take good care of it, and I'll see you next week. And I think that's a, probably the biggest change um, to me as a person is my realization that magic is not about money. It is not about who or it should not be about money. It should not be about who has the most money, who can buy the best deck, who can pimp out their deck the most. Uh, but um, the comments I get where, hey, no, not everyone should be able to afford that really nice foil art land, but they love it. That's the excitement. People are creating, when that land comes out and you're looking at it and maybe you can't afford it, you're like, oh crap, I want that. And then people are like, oh, it's a lottery. Look at the US lottery system. There's something pretty messed up with it. It's targeting people who normally don't have that much money. If you're wealthier, you don't put your you don't go out and buy lottery tickets. You put your money in stock and bonds and stuff. But you don't go out and buy lottery tickets. So Wizard of the Coast essentially is telling these players who cannot afford the cards, uh, who can who can't afford the single, hey, just buy a lottery ticket. Maybe you get the card that you want. I think that's wrong. I think that's very, very bad. And I will go, and again, I'm coming from a position where um, rightfully or wrongfully, you might hate me for saying this, but I will take a stance for people who cannot afford the cards. Because um, I would much rather have a happier, uh, a happier play group. I would much rather have a play group who can play decks that they want to play. And that to me is way more important than Hey, I made some money from this speculation. Reprint on my abrupt decays, reprint my fetch lands, reprint every single card. Um, when Filer gets a reprint, I'm not like, oh shit, Filer got reprinted. I need to sell these. I'm like, oh cool, I can collect these new versions of Filer. Or um, the same with Selena. Uh, not Selena, the uh, Basana. Love that card. And I was very happy when they reprinted her because it was going up to like five or six or eight dollars. And I was like, yeah, now it's going to be easier to collect them. And I feel like that's my um, reprint everything. I mean, it's really that simple. Like, I don't really need to uh, say more than that. Bye, guys.